Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode one of Andy Makes a Friend, where we are going to create some characters. Uh, so, obviously, if you look at the content on the channel, I get to play lots of games. I don't get to be a player character in a lot of games, um, but I, I and I love game mastering, but I also love creating characters. So, here we are to make a new friend. Um, this episode we're going to do Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, it's the game we play the most, and it's a game very near and dear to my heart, obviously. So, uh, Task Force Unlikely is later this week. Crap. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I just realized I was not recording it, but I'll just disc download it from Twitch later. Uh, so anyway, Task Force Unlikely is this week. So let's create some characters from the Forgotten Realms. Uh, and let me open up a document over here, and then I will put D&D Beyond up on the screen. Uh, here's my characters. I have a big... Maybe I'll show a little preview of it. I have a ginormous document. Hold on. Let me load up my... Here we go. Here is... Anytime I have a character idea, I just stick them in here. So I wish we'll scroll. You can see. Not all, of the, not all of them are fully formed. The ones down here have a little blitz about them. But, um... Just ideas, basically. But let me D Beyond and drag you over to here. So if I need to, I can reference that. So <laughs> you can see I only have two characters on D&D Beyond. Uh, Sarek, who is my lizard man. Uh, lizard Folk Druid, who you can see me play in a couple episodes of It's Ramrod Dude's uh, Rap and Athic campaign, which has been a of bunch of fun. And then Jib who is an NPC from Homebrewed, uh, back when we did Homebrewed, and I used her to enter a contest to get onto Dice Camera Action, and they were fools for not picking Jib. Cobb I don't know why you didn't pick Lady Jib. Okay, standard. Oh, randomized, that could be fun. Okay, let's do, ooh, good, Magic the Gathering content. Uh, I was wondering about that earlier. So let's see. Homebrew, playtest, critical role. Sure, why not? Uh, hit points fixed. We're going to allow feats. Multiclass, ignoring coin weight. Make it public. So let's see. So I said I wanted to do a Forgotten Realms character. Maybe we'll do one Forgotten Realms and one... Something else. Let's see. Let me think. Let's see. So Task Force Unlikely has been all over the place. They've been. They started in the city of Waterdeep. Uh, then they moved uh, down the Sword Coast towards Daggerford, where they went through Castle Amber. Uh, they went through the Dungeon of the Crypt, which is like sort of part of Undermountain. Sort of, kind of, not really. Um, and then they've been in the Underdark for a while, and they're currently in the Shadowfell. So... Um, so let's do an Underdark character. Let's do a Drow. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Minimize, make sure you're doing okay. Let's do a drow. Let's see, do I have any drow names in my big old list of character stuff? Let's search for drow. Okay. Istovir. That was a name I like from my little list, so that's good. 
So let's do that. We'll go next. Choosing a race. We want a dark elf. And there's ever own content. I only have the PHB on here. So, uh, oh, and then I have goblins and lizard folk because I purchased them. But uh, all sources. So yeah, let's let's make a drow, dark elf. Choose race. The Indie Beyond is pretty great. I almost thought about grabbing a couple other things before tonight, but uh, I haven't quite decided if I want to like commit to it full on. Since I have all the books, do I want to buy them again? And the the answer is yes, but uh, it's hard to make that plunge when you're just like, well, if I want all the books, you know, it's a decent amount of money. I got 50% off the PHB because I bought the Essentials Kit. That was one of the reasons why I bought the Essentials Kit, honestly. It was just like, I get all this stuff plus something I want to buy anyway half off, like, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So anyway, uh, Drow, Dark Elves. Um, we get plus two Dex, Dark Vision, Keen Senses, Fey, Ancestry, and Trance, which if you're not too familiar with uh, Dean to your Elves, Keen Senses, Perception Skill, uh, can't be charmed and can't be magically put to sleep. I'm sorry, you have advantage on charms and can't be magically put to sleep. Uh, you don't need to sleep. You enter a trance. Uh, you got real good dark vision because you're from underground. However, your sun or your skin is sensitive to the sunlight. And you, uh, I'm going to start with dancing lights. So, next. Now, here's the other thing. What do I want? What? What do I want? I only have PHB content unlocked. So, is it too stereotypical to do a Drow Ranger? Let's see, they have Dex and Charisma. So, what about a drow bard? I love bards. Let's make a bard. They're my favorites. Oh, uh, yes, the best part. The, the 8 billion instruments and stuff. Okay, so, bagpipes feel very dwarven. So, dulcimer. Let's do a lute. Always like a lute. A pan flute. And a viol, which is a, a, a violin. I don't know why it's just not called a violin. Okay. Let's do Arcana. I get Perception for free. Performance. And Persuasion. Spellcasting. Bardic Inspiration. Let's start at level three that's let's start at level five even that's where the fun stuff is jack of all trades get that song of rest get that bard college I'm going to pick valor since i get that dex bump and um stuff like that so let's do perception and persuasion Ability score improvement. When I picked, I haven't picked my ability scores yet, have I? No. Okay, so ooh. Um. Charisma and Dex, and I'll just make sure I do that. Font of inspiration. There we go. Next. Oh, I'm going to do point by. I like point by the most. I know I am. I know that is not. I'm always surprised by when you see you know stuff online that's like um, 
how do you generate scores? And I'm always surprised that rolling dice wins. Just because... I see the appeal. I do. I, I I like it in other systems. I like it in Stars Without Number. Um, and I don't dislike it here. It's just... Boy, I I come into D&D and I know what character I want to play. And I, I don't want to have to... I want some ability to predict it. You know? That's just me. But, you know, everybody does... Everybody plays the way they want to play, and that's perfectly great. Um, it's just... And I, I do kind of wonder if... Because I know Critical Role, pretty sure... Uh, why am I blanking? High Rollers, uh, before it was Hiatus, Dice Camera Action. Uh, I'm pretty sure they all use... Um, Dice rolling, so I do think it's in the the zeitgeist, as it were, as the here's your option. Hmm. Hey, when I do that, ow. Sorry. Ugh. Okay, so dexterity. Fifteen. That'll get it to an eighteen. Fifteen. What does that get me to? Total score of 17. So let's drop you so it's an even number. Wisdom. Let's start at 12. Int 12. Con. Ooh, boy. And I think my strength's going to be 88. That's fine. Oh, con a plus zero for a Valor Bar. It's probably not great. So let's, let's say take Intelligence down a peg. Oh no. What if I do that? No. That's no better. I'd rather have my the only other thing I could think to do is drop you whoops. Drop you to thirteen. I can put you to 14. Well. It's a balanced stat line. Um, I don't hate it. I think I like it, in fact. So we're going to do that next. Uh, background. I'm going to go. Let's see. A drow bard. Haunted one. I've always liked that one because it's weird. Religion and survival, I think, are the two I want to do. Um, so let's think. You are haunted by something so terrible you dare not speak of it. You've tried to bury it and run away from it to no avail. Whatever this thing is that haunts you can't be slain with sword or banished with a spell. It might come to you as a shadow on the wall, a blood-curdling nightmare, a memory that refuses to die, or a demonic whisper in the dark. The burden has taken its toll, isolating you from most people and making you question your sanity. You must find a way to overcome it before it destroys you. So I think, yeah, obviously something happened in the Underdark. Maybe Mind Flayers? Maybe some kind of Elder Brain or Great Old One was awoken and slaughtered his uh, city, and he's the only survivor. Um, and it awoke in him some kind of dread religious knowledge, and he had to survive on his own for a while before he eventually made his way to the sun-blasted surface and decided that um, he had to source, or he had to bard his way around, I guess. Okay, choose an exotic language. Deep. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I like. Uh, suggested 
here we go. I like to read and memorize poetry. Love it. Um, let's see. Uh, I have a dark calling that puts me above the law. I think that might fit what I want. Uh, I keep my thoughts and discoveries in a journal. I've always wanted to play someone who like really keeps a journal. And actually, maybe I will create the other character I've always wanted to play next, or a character I've had an idea f with a an idea of for a long time. Um, I would sack uh, my torment of the wind. No, terrible guilt consumes me. I hope that I can find redemption. There's evil in me. I can feel no that 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 feels a little dritzy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the journal. Uh. I'm a purveyor of doom and gloom who lives in a world without hope. Yes, I'm going to be... This is Edgar Allan Poe, the drow. You know what? Edgar Allen of House Poe. Uh, character details. Alignment. I'm going to go with chaotic. Good. Faith. I'm going to say Elastre because she's my favorite dwar uh, drow goddess. Lifestyle. School. Let's go with poor. Physical characteristics. Hair. Um, let's see. So typically drow want long hair. That's why Jarlaxle shaves his head. Because he's rejecting drow society. Uh, but I think he's going to have to have... He's not going to do that, but he has to essentially keep it military. He's going to maybe have slightly below the ears hair. Um, so let's say medium uh, white skin. Deep violet. Eyes yellow. Height. I personally am short. I don't. I don't like to think I have a short man complex, but I do tend to make my characters taller than me. Uh, so let's say five foot ten. Wait, I don't know. Age old. Uh, let's say he's one fifty. Gender male. Uh, we got that. I don't. I'm gonna enemies. I'm gonna do great old one who destroyed his house and city. Backstory. Um, lost his house and love. Really make this Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, oh, it's Lenore, right? That's who's in the Raven. So, Lin... Or... Or... Lin of House. Or... Uh... Um, to a terrible and dread goo and um, wander alone into the underdark hoping one day to find his way to the surface and live to tell the tale he 
right. I can spell. Grim and Gothic poetry as a way to escape his So there we have Idgir Alin of House Poe. Uh, equipment. Rapier. Entertainers. Oh no, Dip let's get Diplomats back. Uh, loot. Oh no, uh, I want to have a vial. Oh no, not whatever that is. Uh, I get a Monster Hunters pack. Rad. Okay, add that starting equipment. Uh, let's, okay, Ooh, oops. Oh, that's what it was, sorry. Next, new character sheets. I, I, I gotta pick my spells. Uh, actions in Combat. Why do I not have a? Didn't I have a rapier? Equipment. Rapier. Leather. Actions. There we go. Okay. So plus six to hits. Oh, let me let me get a shield. So equipment. Uh, shield. Items. Shield. Just my regular old shield. Add item. I think I'll upgrade. Level 5. I think I should have beyond. Starting gear. Okay, inventory shield. And. No. Leather. Now do I not manage equipment? Studded. Add. There we go. I do like D and D beyond. It's a pretty. Oh wait, now but how do I get out of here? <laughs> how do I get out of this? Okay, so slightly better armor class. I'm unencumbered, so that's good. So where are my skills at? Because I know I got to I'm half proficient thanks to jack of all trades. I got solid stats or solid skills. It's one of the reasons why I love bards so much. Okay, spells. Let's pick. Spells. So, oh, does it tell? It doesn't tell me how many spells I know at this level. So I'm gonna grab my PHP. Or if it does, I don't know where it is. I see slots. Oops, too far. Come on. Two pages I need to stuck together. There we go. Fifth level. I know eight spells and three cantrips. So, and spells. And spells. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I just had to click on one more thing and I would have been fine. So, let's see. Friends. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, vicious Mockery. Ooh. Lots of good ones. Mage hand, mending, press the digitation, message, uh, minor illusion. I think I want minor illusion. I've always liked the illusion magic. Pardon me. Okay, so let's see. I get eight spells. So let's do. Where's healing word? Let's do a healing word. 
Tasha's Hideous Laughter, one of my favorites. Oh. Let me get the... Let me get the branded version. Um, have I ever told our Tasha's Hideous Laughter story on stream? I don't know if I have. I know I've talked about it before to uh, cohorts in um, like post chat and stuff like that. But so um, in my home game, we're playing Storm King's Thunder, and I uh, added some content for the the half orc who wanted to be a wizard. That was their dream. They started out as an Eldritch Knight, and they sent away for a magical like um, how to book essentially by from a woman named Magdalene. Uh, turns out Magdalene has been captured and, and all this, they go through a bunch of stuff to f figure out what happened to her and find her. And eventually they end up in the Feywild and Baba Yaga's hut. So they enter Baba Yaga's hut. Baba Yaga is perfectly nice to them. Uh, they go through a bunch of it. I use Baba Yaga's dancing hut from, I th think I used the fourth edition version, but I, I do play a slightly abbreviated version because that... The hut's huge. It's, like, got, like, 50-plus rooms or something ridiculous. We played an abbreviate because we did this in a session. Um, we go through. They eventually find Magalyn, who's the, the, the wizard's name. Uh, and uh, she's being captured. She's being held by her sister, who is named Natasha. Yeah, it's Natasha and Elena. Because it turns out that Magdalene is actually Baba Yaga's adopted daughter or granddaughter. Um, and she does this uh, a bunch. Uh, it's a real, real cool move on her part, uh, Baba Yaga. So uh, they eventually get there and they start fighting Natasha. And she's, uh, if you're not familiar, she's uh, also known as Iglewiv the Witch Queen. She's married to Gratz. Like, she's a big deal. Um, but one of the players casts Tasha's hideous laughter on her. And uh, she counters it innately and casts it as a reaction. And the player who's a wizard's like, that's not how Tasha's hideous laughter works. It is when Tasha casts it. Because she is the Tasha of Tasha's hideous laughter, and um, so that's that's the story I will always think of for Tasha's hideous laughter. Um, so healing word, Tasha's hideous laughter, thunder wave, eh, thunder. I do. I I love thunder wave. Oh no, dissonant whispers. That's the one. I, oh, disguise self. Oh, it's so hard. I hate picking spells. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay. Uh, second level spells. Uh, oh boy, so so difficult. Okay, so he's okay. So he's a valor bard. So let's give him stuff that he can use up front. It's warning wind to do again. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of good. You whip it up around yourself, and then people are just boned if they want to get near you. And it protects you from ranged attacks. It's not bad. I think invisibility is always a good one. Oh no, I do like magic mouth. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, CC in chat. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of Tasha. She's a real, real weird. Her and Gratz are just, they're just the worst. They're like in the worst relationship ever, and they're both just terrible people that are perfect for each other, and they, they're always doing stuff to pick at each other, and it's just the best slash the worst. They're terrible. Um, ooh, silence is always fun to bone other spellcasters. Silence, and then you're just wading into the fight because you don't care. You can actually throw a punch. 
And then Warding Wind. That's a fun one that we probably don't see very often. So how many... I know... I can know two more spells. Let's do one, maybe one third level. Ooh, major image. Sending tons. Stinking cloud. Stinking cloud. Poisons them. And spends their turn retching. Stinking cloud's a fun one. Stinking Cloud and Bestow Curse to remove. So I'm. So he's. Yeah, Bestow Curse. Just um, gonna go on and on about how life is pain and you're a terrible, terrible person. Um. Uh. And CC in chat said, "I always want to take Magic Mouth, but I can never justify it." Yeah, I think it's a good NPC spell, especially um, Barcrawl had to fight a wizard who was uh, fond of Magic Mouth and would just leave hints around their castle. Um, so I like Magic Mouth as a, you know, dickhole wizard NPC spell, bad guy spell, but it, it is a little hard to justify as a, a player character. Uh... It could be, I mean, it can be, and it is, it's a second level spell as opposed to sending, and, you know, you can leave a message for somebody. It's neat, but, yeah, like, I think I think I would have to be a wizard to, to, to have Magic Mouth. Like, like oh, even a PC, just because it's like, yeah, it's cool, but I know eight spells, and one of them's going to be Magic Mouth as a bard or a sorcerer? Eh. Okay, I think... That's good for now. So, click out of here. So, we have Edgar Allen of House Poe, a Drow Valor Bard, uh, kind of all around solid stats. Uh, he's only bad at strength, but dexterous, tough, pretty smart, pretty wise, charming. He writes. Um, where is the description? There we go. Uh, he reads and memorizes poetry. Um, nope. Nope. Go away. Keeps me calm and brings fleeting moments of happiness. I have a dark calling that puts me above the law. Uh, I keep my thoughts and discoveries in a sad journal where I write gothic poems. And I lost my love, Lynn, or, Lynn of House Orr. I am a purveyor of doom and gloom who lives in a world without hope. That's my underdark character that I would make. So that's fun, I think. I'm very funny. Um, what time is it? Let's do another one. We're going to make a character I've always wanted to make. His name is Falk Autumn Loft. Uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. He is an elf. Oh boy, what will Adrian do? Their charisma, right? Okay, wait. Okay, it depends on which one. Right, because there's like 15 versions of the Eladrin. Okay, so they get face step and an int score increase, but I think I want regular high elves. Uh, cantrip. Mage hand. Favorite cantrip, or one of my favorite cantrips. I like cantrips. There's lots of good ones. Um, it's dwarvish because of a backstory I will talk about in a second. He is a fighter. Proficiencies. Uh, 
acrobatics and history fighting style is archery oh and you know what we're gonna start him at level five as well okay martial archetype what do i get is an eldritch knight yeah the uh there's so for a ladrin there's like oh man there's like three different kinds so the dungeon master's guide has an eladrin it's the first printed eladrin uh and it's i they either get a bump to or i think they get a bump to intelligence um and then they get face step and then the morden canaan's ones uh all have charisma bumps so there's like yeah there's a couple different versions of Eladrin that they kind of went through. I like the Mordenkainen's ones the most, but the the one from the DMG is is interesting. It's just very basic. Uh, okay, so Eldric Knight. Said that spell casting show. Oh, that's good. Let me show you a little level thing. Uh, I'm not going to have many spells. What am I going to know? Four and have some first level spell slots. So extra attack. That's good. Uh, ability score increase. Let's do int and dex. Okay. So point by... I do get a right. Okay, good. Uh, like before, I'm gonna need a solid. Well, I'm an archer, so less solid maybe. Uh, Charisma is gonna be their dump stat, and I'll talk about that in a minute. I can, I can be even smarter. Yeah, let's do that, and then. Throw a point in Constitution. Down the line, I'll increase it. Okay. Next. Falk Autumn Loft. Uh, their background is Sage. Skill proficiencies. Arcana and... Hmm. <laughs> Let's go with investigation. Yes, investigation. That's what I wanted. Uh, investigation. So, uh, it was common, elvish, dwarvish. The heck is crawl? Is that from Ravnica, maybe? Or is it Eberani? Eberanish? Eberonesque? Let's go Gnomish and Giant. Okay. Uh, I've read every book in the world's greatest libraries. Uh, let's see. Ideals is the betterment of oneself yeah uh i work to preserve a library um oops um Oh, I overlook obvious solutions in favor of complicated ones. Okay. So, Falk Autumn Loft is a character I have had in my head for a while now. Um, he is an elven. Uh, he is an elf um, whose parents were librarians. Uh, one day, 
raiders or, you know, monsters or something, came to the library looking for something and killed his parents. Uh, he hid and survived, and he... Um, he just kind of raised himself in the library where the books were his only friends and his favorite book series was a um a book series written by q a cold forge i think i named him and it's uh the smash lamp jaw dwarven detective series smash lamp jaw so, uh, let me see. I have a list of Smash Lampjaw novels I titled. Uh, so let me see if I can find them real fast. Uh, one momento. Smash Lampjaw. I think it's in here. Here we go. Perfect. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Smash Lampjaw novels written by Dixon Q. Coldforge. Uh, dwarf detective Smash Lampjaw. Uh, Smash Lampjaw and the Ruinous Tower. Smash Lampjaw versus the Cult of All Evil. Smash Lampjaw and the Demon Lord. Smash Lampjaw, Lampjaw and the Curse of Xanator. Smash Lampjaw versus the Lizard Men. Smash Lampjaw at Precipice Point. Smash Lampjaw and Half Moon Madness. Uh, Smash Lampjaw versus the Half Breed Butcher. Smash Lampjaw versus the Vampire Lord of Confusler. Smash Lampjaw versus the Spy Master. Smash Lampjaw gets married? And Smash Lampjaw and the Mysterious Cliffhanger. Uh, so, uh, Falk's entire deal is that, uh, he does what Smash Lampjaw would do. So, W-W-S-L-D. What would Smash Lampjaw do? And it's inevitably the most complicated, confusing thing to any, so, any problem. Uh, and, uh, the other thing is, he writes fan fiction about smash lamp Jaw and inserts himself so he's a um a self insert and some of his uh some of his uh fan fiction titles um uh he secretly writes fan fiction starring him in smash lamp Jaw with names like the falk in our stars generous to a falk can't falk it it's Not My Falk, a story of intrigue and doppelgangers, and Falk Lines. Um, it's very dumb, but I want to play him because he's an idiot. Uh, next. I'll choose equipment. Uh, I want leather, right? want that two martial weapons rapier and uh what the hell's a double bladed scimitar you know whatever i already have a longbow uh crossbow two hand axes god he's armed to the teeth explorer's pack and then he's got his sage as a plane flies by and starting equipment. And like before, let me let me increase. Not that I'm unlikely I'm ever gonna get to play them, but let's see. Oh, add items. Here we go. I want to add better armor. Studded leather. Okay. 
new character sheet because I'm also going to have to. Uh, let's see. I don't remember you having to equip stuff before, but let's see. Arrows. Uh, longbow. Studded leather. So, uh, decently fast. Not the toughest, but can still take a hit. Has more hit points than uh, the, the drow did, uh, just because he has better hit dice. Uh, decent intelligence, or very good intelligence, because it's a spellcasting thing. Okay, Wisdom. Can't talk to anybody. Only knows how to talk to people from books. Uh, oh, I even made a little list the stuff in here that's i'm i'm smart uh oh actually oh man i actually had features and traits description where am i nothing i like more than a good mystery that was it i actually wrote these down let's see uh ideal the path to self-improvement is through no okay yeah the goal of life is the study of betterment i think i combine that with knowledge as the path to being a better person oh here we go okay bonds uh there we go yep and then what would smash lamp judge you i'm gonna add that ww SLD. Question mark. Save. Uh, and appearance info. I have. I can. Notes. I I could do that. So I had like a. In the last one, I could um like edit that somewhere else. I don't remember. What, so what is the double-bladed scimitar soup? Where is it from? <laughs> is that some Eberron bullshit? <laughs> what? Um, okay. So manage spells and spells. I need two cantrips. I'm going to make them firebolt. Frostbite? And I, I have Green Flame Blade written here, but I don't think that quite works because I don't want to be one of me. I don't want to be making melee s melee attacks. So I think I'm going to do Mage Hand. I think that's better. Uh, manage spells. Add spells. First level. Absorb elements for sure. Shield. I have a in our home game the uh, the aforementioned half orc eldritch knight slash wizard uh, wears plate mail and casts shield on herself and she's just impossible to hit and I hate her so fighters with shield are my favorite thing. Um, chromatic orb, another spell I love, and the classic magic missile. Uh, so lots of attacky spells, but they kind of don't really have many other options. Oh, what about color spray? Color spray is cool. I think... I think that's what I want, because I think... I think it would be one of those things where... Like... Like, like Han Solo in... The Force Awakens. I always talk my way out of a problem, but he doesn't have the skill set to talk his way out of a problem. Um, <laughs> Eberron BS, apparently. Can't just duct tape scimitars together. Although, the new lightsaber from the Rise of Skywalker thing, uh, the internet doesn't seem to hate it, which confuses me, because I think it's very stupid. Like, the there's it it's two lightsaber blades like that right and they 
go up, which has no mechanical benefit. It, they're in a row. If you hit miss with one, you miss with both of them. I guess you can make it wide if you go like that. But then you click a button and it flips to become a double-bladed lightsaber, which I like double-bladed lightsabers. But the flipping mechanic, you're just going to cut your own legs off. Maybe if you get it above someone and flip it. But then just, I don't know. It's just... It, the, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. If people thought the cross guard was dumb, I don't know how this isn't dumb. Dumber, even. I think the cross guard is kind of cool. And again, I like double-bladed lightsabers. I just don't... It doesn't have to fold. Her staff doesn't do that. It's not like she's used to that. I get why she wants a double-bladed lightsaber. Although she's evil now, apparently. Well, I don't think she's evil. I think it's a vision or something. We don't have time, Andy. First of all, no. Okay. Uh... Let me make sure I'm still recording. I am. So, we created two characters today in Dungeons & Dragons while I kind of rambled about other things. Um, so, we created... Uh, Drow Edgar Allan Poe and Falk Autumn Loft, who I've wanted to create for a long time. Uh, two elves, um, both Forgotten Realmsy. Uh... I, not specifically, you could play them in whatever. Ninter Vale, Greyhawk, a Spelljammer. I think Falk would be more suited to Spelljammer. But um, next time, because they have, I think. Well, okay, wait, hold on. Let me let me just see one last thing. Magic the Gathering content next. human now nah, okay wait but okay so it's not really magic the gathering because you can't none of the stuff from the plane shift things are on there so let me go back let me see what oh is that maybe if i have ravnica unlocked but then why would it anyway Anyway, um, um, anyway, geez. Okay, so let's, let's not, let's not with this guy, this person. Oh, you know what? No, let's do one last thing. Oh, creations, my characters. I only got so many slots to delete you. Let's create a random character. Randomize. Choose level. Five. We've been doing five. Allow multi-class. Allow feats. Uh, I asked Krista to send me some names earlier. So let's name this person from Krista's. Krista's list. She creates great names. Okay. It's... Lawrence Win. Great character. It's taking a while, okay. I didn't say Edgar Allan Poe hated wizards. CC? He hates great old ones. Be a character sheet. Uh, Lauren Thwin. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, first of all, this character is impossible. Bard, ranger, rogue, sorcerer. But it doesn't have any of the stats for a multi-class. Uh, oh, I did. I he, <laughs> Edgar Allen of House Poe did take silence. You're right, CC. Sorry. Um. Now, I mean, look. I think this is funny. Bard, ranger, rogue, sorcerer. I. Bard, rogue, sorcerer would probably be pretty fun. 
uh, Rangers throwing it off. But again, this math doesn't work. The stat, the stat line doesn't work. You can't multi-class because you don't have... You only have a 13 in strength, none of which these require a 13 in. Oh, randomize. My characters. I'm delete you. Because you're terrible. Um... Well, there we go. That was fun. Created a couple couple elves this time. Um, uh, that's kind of... That's, that's not even really usually my pro My process is usually I think about it, which Falk was. I, I've thought about Falk for a long time. But Edgar Allan Poe was... He just kind of came together, and that was nice. That was fun. Uh, so, yeah. This was Andy's make Andy makes a friend. I made some friends. Um, this week on The Laughing Dragon Inn is Task Force Unlikely, episode 24, Dead Man's Cross. We are still without Gale, but Navira, Tarbeck, and Lady Kaw are in the Shadowfell. They've defeated several hags, uh, two out of three of a coven, and the third ran away and rescued some Bistani. Uh, so there's that. Uh, normally, Phantom Horizons would be back next week, but Liz is uh, still away. So we are instead going to probably do this again, and I'm going to create some Stars Without Numbers characters. Uh, and then Star Chasers will be later that week, and if you have not caught any of our Spelljammer episodes of Star Chasers, which are all of them... <laughs> um, is real fun. Check it out. Um, but that's it. You can follow me on Twitter at Andy Hatton. And yeah. Join me again soon when I make some more friends. Because I have to roll them up in order for them to talk to me. And, you know. Didn't mean for this to get sad. Wheezy's my friend. Medical baseball condition. Have a good night, everybody. I'm back. I didn't mean to put Task Force Unlikely up there. Hold on, there we go.